Thanks. I will present Levy Prop, an imaging levitated optimized fabric structure using holography acoustic tweezers. It's a project I work on with um, Asier Marco, Estrui Subramian, and Diego Martinez. Our goal was to offer a method for creating levitated structure bigger than four millimeter and non spherical shape in mid air. Our approach relies on an acoustically transparent piece of fabric and bit that act as a uh, levitated anchor. This project relies on a hypothesis that a given number of anchors can hold a specific piece of fabric, and at the same time, uh, we are able to create animation by moving the bits. For instance, with one bit, uh, can levitate a bigger fabric, and we can manipulate its location. With two bits, we control the orientation of the fabric, and finally, with three or more bits, uh, allow us to manipulate the fabric with up to six degrees of freedom. Before describing the, the in detail of levy props, I will show previous approaches for levitated bits. Previously, researchers have been using multiple levitated bits to represent abstract objects or represent data in abstract way. For example, a floating chart is a modular display that uh, levitates multiple bits for composing dynamic chart. Another example is Jolet, which used a uh, levitated particle to form a grip of bit that acts as a screen and also can flip the, the bit with an uh, electrical field. However, as this uh, project relies on uh, a standing wave, bits can not only, the, the bit can only be moved up and down, and they are made of individual points. And in general, the separation is four millimeter. This means that it cannot produce a continuous display. But recently, uh, some researcher has investigated how we can manipulate and control multiple bits in 3D. However, as a display is still does not con support continuous uh, content. Other researcher has investigated how to limit a larger particle or more complex geometry, which can be seen as a continuous content, but they do not support free 3D manipulation. But creating levy props is not as simple as a sticking bit to the uh, uh, piece, of, uh, piece of fabric, particularly the stiffness, which measures the sum summation of forces that the anchor can sustain, depend a lot on where we place these anchors. Uh, the definition of the stiffness can be taken from uh, Gorkov potential. For more detail about the stiffness or multipoint levitation algorithm, you can find it in the, in the paper. But the key idea is to have a method to quantify the quality of the traps. This leads to the approach that forms the main contribution in our paper. As we realize that the position affects the overall stiffness, we first run a study to see how much stiffness change and how uh, the manipulation that is moving or rotating the, the prop affect the, the stiffness. Now we knew that the, the relevance of the bit, uh, position and the manipulation that did affect the stiffness, as I, I will show later, some rotation do not affect the overall stiffness of the levy probe, but some other do. Uh, based on that, we produced an algorithm that given an initial position and intended animation of the, of the bits, we provide an optimum location, the one that maximizes the the stiffness. And we then provide uh, open source uh, tools to support the creation of Levy Pro, their design and their uh, physical fabrication. And finally, uh, we explore proof of content application that demonstrate the capability of Levy Probs. So first, we evaluated how the position of the bit affect the overall stiffness, given the two most established multipoint levitation, levitation algorithm, iterative back propagation and naive back propagation. In the first plot, we uh, have two bits, and we separate them horizontally and show the resulting stiffness. We do the same for vertical separation, and the same process has been done with, uh, with other 3D geometries, with three, four, and eight bits increasing their, their size. 
The remarkable aspect is that by only changing size a, a little, stiffness can change by a huge amount. For example, this peak and valley is only two millimeters apart. So if we place the bit properly, we can get uh, five, five times the amount of stiffness. And the decision of where to place the anchors in the fabric became a key factor for successful levy props. This indicates that a relocation of the bit or just a few millimeters can transform a bad levy prop into an optimum levy prop. This is a key aspect of, the, of our approach. As is indicated that given an initial, initial geometry design for levy prop, it should be possible to, resign, uh, to refine their position, improving trapping uh, stiffness, even with the minimum anchor displacement from the initial design. Another question is even if we optimize the bit location, will it affect the structure when we rotate or move the levy prop? Well, we select the optimum geometry identified from the previous study, mm -hmm. the peaks, and we apply some transformation as moving in the X axis or rotating around the X and Y axis. As the geometry are translated across the, the levitator, the trapping quality follow a predictable pattern, being maximum at the central area of the levitator and linearly decreasing as the structure moves toward the edge of the levitator. We can observe as well that relative stiffness between geometry are generally retained. There is no line crossing. So this allows us to not consider the FL translation of the trappy, uh, the trappy quality or, or levy props. Given that our levy, uh, levitator is symmetric around the, the vertical axis, rotation along the Y axis showed neglectable effect as well. On another hand, the rotation around the X axis can show very significant changes in stiffness, for example, in horizontal, in horizontal structures, the small ones suffer a, a large variation on the stiffness, depending on the angle. Uh, so the important idea here is uh, the effect of rotation varies depending on the axis of rotation of the levitated uh, prop. So how can we build a levy prop and how can we calculate the optimum location. Well, the software of the levy prop is based on the creation of several uh, levitation primitives, we call it. And for example, this butterfly has the, its main body, the base uh, primitive, but then their wings can rotate or flap independently. So the wings are made of several primitives combined into a single interactive prop, uh, the whole butterfly. We define the primitive as a set of one or more bits that move together and can be animated independently. So each primitive in a library contains uh, a coordinate system, the position of the bits, and the rotation range allowed for the, for the primitive. This first primitive that user will create is called base primitive. And if the designer wants to create another primitive, we call it left wing primitive or left primitive, based on the initial primitive. Here describe the position of the bits and the matrix which describe the pivoting axis for rotation or the, uh, the rotation of the primitive. In this example, the blue uh, primitive will rotate from minus 10 to 10 degrees and has only one bit. And in the second, Leaf primitive is independent to the previous both primitive, and it will rotate from minus five to five degrees. The primitives in a leaf prop are structured in a hierarchical way. That means that the transformation to the base primitive will affect all the, all the points in the levy prop, but transformation on the leaf primitive has, as uh, the blue one, will not affect the, the point in the other primitive. Okay, if you understand that, so how can user design a level probe? And how is the algorithm is going to look for the best position based on the user input? So we provide a software that uh, the, 
we provide a software that users have to import the shape of the label prop, then design the number of the bit per primitive, and the pivot for rotation. Each color represents the group of primitives that, uh, that belong, and the line are the pivot where uh, the points are going to rotate. The red area are the space where the algorithm is going to search the best position based on the stiffness. All these features can be modified by the user. But the optimal position of the B actually is calculated by the simulating annealing algorithm, comparing the stiffness in the intended position and translation. And the important here is that the software calculates the best location of the bit depending on the areas, the bit will place it, and the intended rotation. But also the tool output a file with the shape, the circle of the, the best position of the bit, and the people line. Later, I will, the user only needs to send this file to the laser cutter, and he will create a, the library report. This is basically the, uh, what I said is an example in the, with the software. So he select the initial shape, decide the number of the location of the anchor, the pivot, the, the primitive of the pivot, another pivot, and, and the primitive, and it calculated the, the, the best uh, location. And this, is, this video only shows how to actually build it. This is really straightforward. You only need to place uh, the fabric between two papers, and the laser cutter will cut the shape the pivot line and the circle of the best position. And assembly is pretty straightforward as well. Just only need to glue the bit to the circle, the market position that the uh, laser cutter cut it. Yep. So once we know how to optimize this position for maximum, uh, for maximum stiffness, we tested the maximum size of Levy props can uh, we could create. So we use a dropping test with several size and four different structures. In this study, we can observe that with one bit, we, uh, we were able to levitate a piece of fabric up to nine centimeter side. Also, when we increase the number of bit, it decreased the size of the fabric that we can levitate. But acoustic levitation has many application domains that include mixing liquid, fiscalization, education, and so on. As Levy produce a specific material for building the physical representation of displays, or even a complex shapes, it offers a lot of flexibility for designing the shape depending on the target application. Here I will show a couple of examples that we can create. The first is the rocket that we can rotate in the 90 degree and move it up. We, it's a storytelling. The second is a tangible uh, a notification that the user can place with the bare hand and also they can create shape inside the, the fabric. The third one is my favorite, it's a pawn game. I call it, <laughs> I call it research as well. And you have two levy props, and they are interacting with the, with the bit. The, this one is the levitated mid-air display that it can rotate 360 degrees, and we can project it on top of that. And the last one is really beautiful. It's a butterfly that you can move around it, and at the same time, it's flapping. Well, our exploration has demonstrated the feasibility of using Levy Pro to create a structure that can be manipulated in mid-air, as well as uh, interactive, interactive possibilities. However, Levy Pro are not free of limitation. We can only levitate a small number of Levy Probs <coughs> at the same time, and for example, the pong game only is able to levitate two. The algorithm does not consider the distribution of the fabric along the geometry, and even the fabrication process it's simple, but requires some practice. A small error when you place in the, the bit can result in a final ge geometrical configuration that differ totally from uh, or the tool's output. And users should be about directly stretching the fabric, as this change the relative location of the, the bit as well. So if you pull in at the, at the edge of the square, Levy Prot will deform it into a rectangle 
and the fabric will retain such a shape. To sum up, uh, we studied the trapping stiffness asserted on the multiple traps depending on the geometric uh, arrangement and some algorithm used for calculating that trap. And we also performed a formative study to investigate the largest piece of fabric can be levitated depending on the number of bits and geometry. Also, we create a uh, software that enables designers to build levitated structure and optimize the initial position of the bit according to the designer input. And an easy to use method for cutting the shape of the fabric with the laser cutter and gluing the bit at the market position. And the last one is a many, uh, many proof of concept application that show different characteristics of Levy Pro, such as different fabric size, number of bit displays, and animation. So thank you again so much, and I will, an I will answer any question. Questions? No questions after that awesome talk? So I have a hard question. You get stuck with my hard question that ap applies to a lot of the projects. Is given that augmented reality headsets are becoming more and more practical, yeah. why do this physically? This is so much harder to do, so why do it? First, uh, I like it. <laughs> Fair enough. And another is, uh, yes, I, I understand that in virtual reality you can have uh, many things, but you have to put the stuff and so on. And here, you just place that and you're moving. And if you want to explain something, someone you can create a dot levy prop and they can interact with each other. Another thing is the, I come back to the game, but the people love that kind of game, like a retro game. And I saw people that are crazy tell me how can how they can buy that, They're like, yeah, yeah, sure. But, <laughs> so, I don't know, it's the pen. For me, it's, a, it's another way, and this is only for this fabric, but you can export it in another way if we can manage to create another fabric. So, I don't know. That's something that you cannot create in, the, in virtual reality right now. So the texture, you cannot feel it. And the tangible interaction, for example, you can place or that, you can feel it, the texture. You cannot do it with the virtual reality, in my opinion. Any other questions? Yes. Um, this is Li Ning from Carnegie Mellon. Uh -huh. I have an easy question. And okay. thanks for the great talk and the demo. Um, trapping stiffness, you know, mechanically, I understand stiffness as uh, the uh, resistance to a body towards a deformation, right? Trapping stiffness seems important for your research. I just wonder if you could clarify a little bit and whether that term is related specifically to the fabric it's about the trap. So the, do you imagine that the fabric is, doesn't have to be here? It's, it's so transparent. So that what you need is a, a so what you need is a strong forces that trap the the the, the bit, and with that is the stiffness that tells you what is the quality of that trap. I don't know if I answered that. It's an invented term by you guys, or it's like a classic term from a certain... Field? It's like a Laplacian of the Gorkov. So it's, it's like a, a spring. So with that, you can defer what is the actual forces, what you are making in all the direction of the, of the beat. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's thank the speaker. Oh.